Yo, what's up, people? Welcome back to the Career Pack Podcast. My name is Neil Patel. I'm the host of this podcast and on this pod. I combine creativity and impact and hope to give a little bit more than I can get. Talk about things like self-love, self-acceptance, small day-to-day learnings that I have in my life, and I share those with y'all. And occasionally, I talk about what it's like being a creator that's South Asian in the space and much, much more. If you guys are new, please subscribe on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, all socials at Career Pack Podcast to be much appreciated. And when you guys are listening to this, I am out of state. I am in New York. I'll tell you guys that much. Pursuing an opportunity that I got uh, to like help out an online creator. Uh, not exactly sure what this opportunity is going to be like just yet. Actually, when you guys are listening to this, I'm, I might either be in the air or landed and already talking with this specific person. And the reason I don't want to do that so much yet is because... I want to do a podcast with him, hopefully, during my time there in uh, New York. So, super exciting stuff. I've been trying to make this podcast for like the last like 15, 20 minutes while I've been sitting here, but the words just haven't really been clicking for me. So, we're just here. I'm, I got a Celsius, and yeah, I'm not sponsored. This is not no free. Well, it is a free promotion for Celsius, fuck. But I needed something to like wake me up so I can talk be energetic, be on camera. Because honestly, guys, it's, I've been a little bit overwhelmed, filled with a little bit of like anxiousness to f- understand what this opportunity is going to be like, what it'll bring, what it'll really be like. So, um, you know, when you have like something amazing that happens in your life that pops up an opportunity and then time goes by and you get close to that opportunity starting to like manifest or come into effect and then you get like anxious behind it. Does that happen to anyone? I think that happens to everyone, but I'm just feeling that right now. So um, I leave tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. <clears throat> like I just said, by the time y'all are seeing this, it's already happening because I'm it's gonna be on Friday, November 3rd. Um, I'm just trying to be present. I'm just trying to take it one second at a time, one day at a time, and hopefully everything will be just fine. In fact, I know it'll be just fine. I'm kind of just like psyching myself out here by talking about it, thinking a lot about it. Uh, Let me talk about something else, actually. Uh, This whole episode is going to turn into something completely different. Why the fuck is New York so goddamn expensive? I was trying to find an Airbnb out there for one week. Bro, it was like $2,000 minimum in West Village, which you guys are probably going to be like, obviously, Neil, it's going to be expensive there. I get it. I get it. And I was willing to pay the money, but goddamn, bro, two bands, 2,500, 2,600 bucks. The lowest I could find was 1800 for six nights. Dang. Bro, that's a lot of freaking money, bro. I don't care how wealthy someone is. That is a lot of freaking money. I'm not well. I'm broke. I have no money. The struggling creative saying, right? I have no money. So I'm going to be staying out there with family. So instead of being close to the person I'm going to be meeting up with, instead of being close, like right in that area, I'm going to be like 30 minutes away in Clifton, New Jersey. And then I'll just Uber back and forth all like... I'll be there during the day, go back at night because bro, it is way too freaking expensive. That's just the, that's just the Airbnbs. It is, it is outright ridiculous. And I just X'd out. My sister was calling me and I just X'd it out. Wasn't I talking about a couple days ago to like make time for family? Uh, My bad, my bad sister. I will call you back as soon as I'm done ranting. If y'all ever go to New York, be prepared to spend a ton of money because it costs a lot of money. Yeah, no joke. And I haven't even gotten there yet. God knows what I'll spend on like coffee and food and Ubers. Oh my goodness. Now that I'm saving on saving on travel costs, I'm definitely going to be making up for it with like the Ubers because I'm going to be Ubering back and forth. I'll probably use transit. Um, maybe. I just, I'll probably just use Ubers. I don't know. Um, but yeah. You guys will see everything. You guys will get more video of New York, days of my life there, and just stay tuned because I think what's about to happen is going to hopefully be a very big turning point in my life, and my career, and I'm very excited about it. I said all the same stuff yesterday, but it's worth reiterating today because right now there are some like anxious anxious nerves, anxiousness going on. But I think tomorrow, once I get there, once I see the city, 
I'm present within the environment and I meet the people there, I think it'll all slowly start to ease and calm down. So I think that's where I'm at right now, genuinely. And talking about it, talking out loud into a camera is very therapeutic and I'm very grateful for it. So if any of you, well, actually I have a couple buddies in New York now. Like I have a, I've made like four or five friends, like online friends that are in New York. So I'll probably have to reach out to a couple of them if they are in that New York area. But yeah, I'm super excited, super blessed, super lucky to be able to do these things. And I'm excited to seek some discomfort. Shout out to Yes Theory. Um, they, they probably have never heard or will ever watch this podcast, but shout out to them because I am seeking discomfort tomorrow. All right, everyone. I love you all. Thank you so much for any support, any words that you have ever spewed to me about this podcast, positive, negative, neutral, neutral, neutral. I appreciate it all. And I'm excited to see what this next week has in store for me. And like I always say, take care. Tell someone that you, whoops. Take care, tell someone that you love them and go do something nice for someone today because they genuinely, 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 genuinely deserve it. Much love. Peace.